So you're probably searching around because you saw one of these on eBay or Amazon and you're wondering if it's worth the money. It's basically a microphone boom mic to control your Harley Davidson boombox infotainment system. We thoroughly tested it and reviewed it for you. You'll definitely want to stick around for this one. What is this little guy? Basically, um, many will call it on eBay and Amazon a wireless um, uh, boom microphone. It's for the boombox system, uh, infotainment system on 2014 and on Hardy Davidson touring models. Um, basically what it does, what it's designed to do, is it wireless? I don't know. It's not really Bluetooth, but it, it, it doesn't have a wire in a sense, I guess, so that's why they call it that. Basically what it does is it's got your seven pin communications connector that's standard on Harley Touring models, your ultra limiteds and things like that. Of course, my Street Glide doesn't come with that port, but you certainly can get, I think it's 70 bucks, an aftermarket kit to make that port. On something like an ultra limited, that port comes right out on top of your gas tank where your trim comes over your gas tank. It's usually right down there and you can plug generally a headset with a cable with with uh, earphones and boom mic and you can plug that in well this is the same exact connector of course um, but it's kind of a standalone device so to speak and it just plugs in there you're supposed to be able to ride down the road looking ahead and it's supposed to pick up your voice thus you're able to give your boom box infotainment system voice commands because it is capable of that such as gps directions i want to go here or make a phone call to or skip to the next song. Just like similar to an iPhone uh, and Siri, to, uh, as an example, uh, you can give your boombox those commands too. And uh, this microphone uh, is designed to do that. So we, of course, here in true law-abiding biker style, gave this the, the very thorough review and testing. We're using stuff here at Law Abiding Biker Media in a real world environment, guys. Um, and it's an independent test, of course. Um, it's for the average day-to-day -day biker out there, the, the commuter all the way to the touring guy. What works in a real-world environment? So if you want to pick up one of these little guys, we'll, have, uh, we'll direct you in the links below this video. May even throw an affiliate link in there, um, but we'll get you in the right direction if you do become interested in it. We set up some tests, guys. We basically did three different tests. Um, and here's how we set them up. We basically uh, we did use a 2014 Hardy-Davidson Ultra Limited. It had a 11 and a half to 12 inch windshield. Basically, that's a pretty tall windshield. And BD Kane here at Law Abiding Biker Media did the testing on that side of it. And he's about 6'3". We did it on non-windy days. We did it on different roads and different environments. Uh, the only aftermarket exhaust, he, he does have aftermarket exhaust, but it's not super loud. He just threw on some slip-ons. It's got stock headers, so it's, it's not that much louder than stock. Um, so that was kind of uh, how we set it up and we basically did three different tests and let me break those down for you. Test numero uno. We basically tested this device, uh, basically uh, the bike at idle and or off. Uh, so we'll just say the bike was at idle, not moving. Um, and this again, this plugs in by your gas tank port and it sits up just like that. And you know, technically you should be able to just look ahead and uh, you should be able to give voice commands like call my wife and you should be able to make a phone call or your GPS and talk just normal and have a phone conversation. That's really what this is designed for. Like I say, many different devices will be up here in your helmet and you'll have head, you know, earphones with it. But this is just specifically for, uh, for those voice commands. Um, so at idle, um, we found that uh, it worked fairly well. Um, in fact, it worked all the time. And pretty much just talking in a regular voice, we were able to have a phone conversation. BD Kane called me. I was able to hear him fine over the bike and uh, we were able to give GPS directions and we were able, able to give voice commands. So again, that test was done sitting stationary at idle. That was test number one. Test numero dos. So then we basically took it, BD Kane went out and he went for a ride and he stayed at about 25 to 30 miles per hour, obviously, basically in the city in slower uh, riding type environment. And uh, what we found is he, he basically did a bunch of voice commands and tested this thing a lot, guys. We wanted to give it a fair shake. And uh, uh, he found that it only worked at 25 to 30 miles an hour. It only worked about 60% of the time. He had to really raise his voice um, to get it to, to activate the voice recognition. Again, that was riding normal, looking ahead, he, you know, with that tall windshield that he had in the fairing, he was having to really raise his voice. Then he called me. And I had a phone conversation with him, but at first I couldn't hear him at all. 
and uh, it was really hard over the bike noise. And then I told him to speak up. He started yelling and raising his voice, and then I could hear better what he was saying. So again, at 25 to 30 miles an hour, it worked about 60% of the time. The other 40%, it wouldn't pick up the voice commands. Test numero tres. So then we took it up and he took it out on the freeway and uh, he did it between 60 and 70. He first did it at 60 and then he did it at 70 miles an hour. Same exact results, so we'll just group those. So freeway speeds and uh, basically what we found is it was 100%, it wouldn't work. And again, that was talking, even yelling um, to try to get it to work. He actually activated a phone call, BD Kane did. He called me and I was waiting, standing by and I could hear nothing but motorcycle and wind. Um, I couldn't make out. I think I might have heard a voice in the background, but it was so muffled from the wind and motorcycle uh, that I couldn't hear him. It wouldn't activate any of the voice commands or GPS or anything like that. And again, that test was done at freeway speeds at about 60 to 70 miles an hour. I will say real quick that even during the test, just to see at that 60 to 70 miles an hour, um, he actually leaned forward as far as he could while looking ahead and got his voice right on top of this thing to see if it would actually, you know, activate the voice commands and all that. And we couldn't, he couldn't get it to do it uh, even with his mouth right on top of the mic. So what's my opinion? So basically, you know, it does have some functionality. Um, whether you're commuting, whether you're riding, we, we think that, you know, if you're riding around the city in slower type environments that it does have an use. Um, uh, and, you know, even if you're a touring rider, we can see it may have an use. You know, if you're going long trips and you're leaving your hotel or you're riding around the city, you know, you get, come out from your hotel in the morning, you want to give some quick voice commands, you want to set up your GPS, you maybe want to make a low speed phone call or something like that. Um, definitely has an use for that. But uh, you know, again, we tested it and uh, we're giving you the truth, you know, at freeway speeds and while you're on those rides, this really is going to be of little use to you. So it's going to have to be in those city environments and those lower speeds or setting up, getting ready for a trip while you're sitting still at idle. So with that said, that's our complete test on that, guys. I do want to mention something. We are very, very excited. We're working on something behind the scenes here at Law Abiding Biker Media. We've actually been testing more than this. Um, we were looking for a headset for the boombox system, specifically with speakers, of course, headphones, and a boom mic that can be worn um, with, with a, a, even a half helmet. Um, and so we have that uh, system in the works. We've tested it. We found one we really, really like. We think you guys are really, really going to like it. We're just working out the details. Make sure you check back. Make sure you check the Law Abiding Biker store over at lawabidingbiker.com store when we have it available for sale in there and it's a solid, solid system. We hope to be able to keep it, and we know we can, reasonably priced for you guys. It's very, very solid. The functionality is great. It is something that you can use at freeway speeds and everything in between. So we're very excited about that project, so keep checking back. Also, if you're using an item out there, guys, or if you have suggestions, make sure you comment below. Uh, make sure and subscribe, guys, um, so that you're notified. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys all the time. And uh, of course, don't forget to get signed up for that free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We'll shoot you an email when we come out with these new free videos and reviews, guys. All right, hope you are out there getting some writing. And thanks for tuning in. Peace out.